I think you might be misunderstanding YouTube. When you upload a video to YouTube and you think that YouTube will promote it, yeah, it takes a little bit more than that. And it uh, starts here. When you get no views on your YouTube video, think from a different perspective, YouTube's perspective. Why do you deserve to get views on your YouTube video? Because YouTube is a big platform with millions of videos, if not billions. YouTube can't show them all, so it needs to make a selection in what to show viewers. And YouTube does that by putting the needs of the viewers first, so it starts to estimate what people are most likely to enjoy. Because YouTube found out a long time ago that when people are satisfied, they stay longer on the platform and YouTube earns more money with ads. But how does YouTube measure how viewers perceive a video? First of all, it looks at how many people click on a given type and thumbnail and second of all it looks at how many people are watching a video all the way through now let me ask you three super honest and direct questions first of all why should YouTube promote your video when you can't make people click and when you can't make people watch all the way through your video especially when someone else does a better job at that now let me ask you the second question you've invested 10 years in a YouTube channel. You've uploaded more than a thousand videos. And do you think it's fair that a new dude or gal comes along that gets a million views instantly with compromising your watch time while you had to work so hard to get there? Channel authority is a ranking factor. I do think that's fair. But actually YouTube does give small channels a chance, which I talked about in my ranking video, which I will link in the description. YouTube artificially ranks you for the first few hours in between the big boys to see how viewers respond to your video. If you're doing a better job, you have a higher chance of keeping your ranking position. Otherwise you will gradually rank lower and lower and lower and lower. Now, let me ask you the third question. Let's say there are a thousand videos on YouTube on a given topic. For example, um, let's take this video. Why do my YouTube videos get no views? How should YouTube decide which videos to show because there are only five or 10 spots in YouTube search that people are actually clicking on and the rest gets little to no views. A lot of creators think that when their SEO is good that they will rank, but what if everybody's SEO is good? Well, SEO won't help you anymore then. YouTube still has to make a decision on who to rank and it still does that based on watch time and how many people click. And I explicitly say how many people click instead of click-through rate because a lot of creators misunderstand click-through rate because it's highly relative to the competition. When I have a high click-through rate of let's say 15% and my competition has a click-through rate of 16%, with the same amount of watch time, I will get less promotion, thus less views. And this is exactly the problem in competitive niches like cooking, gaming, fitness, and the YouTube advice niche. And when we take it back to YouTube's perspective, YouTube has responsibilities towards three parties to the advertisers, to their viewers, and also other creators than you. And YouTube is still a business. Capitalism hard at work, YouTube makes money with ads. Any content that can hurt YouTube's image will hurt their viewership and thus their ability to make money. So YouTube doesn't want to be known as the platform that predatorial individuals go to to hunt for children because that was what all the fuss was about in 2019. YouTube is pretty open in what they allow and don't allow on their platform in the community guidelines. And when you still want to walk this gray area with your content, it's not very respectful to YouTube's advertisers or the monetizing creators that do abide by these rules. You have to respect that you're on rented land as YouTube creators, their platform, their rules, otherwise no views. And don't forget when you don't get views on your YouTube videos that making YouTube videos takes skill and developing this skill takes a lot of time and a lot of videos. You are competing with the people that have mastered this skill. They have made hundreds of titles, they've made hundreds of thumbnails, they've studied hundreds of audience retention graphs. By now, they pretty much know what their audience likes and doesn't. And I don't think that YouTube or the algorithm hates me or you. It just does what it's supposed to do, serving the best content to viewers. And the YouTube algorithm constantly wants proof that your click-through rate and your audience retention is better than the competition. And now something completely different, a mindset thing. When you don't get views on a video, the second you start to blame the algorithm, you've lost already. You blame an external factor you can't control. You will get frustrated 
and no views. Now, when you put the blame on yourself and take responsibility for your own actions, you can actually do something about it. I think that good content eventually will service and find its right audience. And to be honest, I've also caught myself on feeling entitled to get views. I deserve it because I invested a lot of time and energy and effort in a video and I get no views. But when you bend that feeling entitled to appreciation for what YouTube is, it makes things much more bearable. Hosting videos all over the world is incredibly difficult and it takes a lot of expensive hardware like hard disk space to do it. And making millions of videos discoverable for millions of users is incredibly hard, but it's included and it's all free. When you take Vimeo, for example, or any other hosting platform, you have to pay for that and they don't promote anything. And on top of that, YouTube offers you the opportunity to earn money with your videos. YouTube shares more than half of their ad revenue with you. YouTube is the only social media platform or video hosting platform that does that. And is there any social media platform out there that allows you to chat with a support desk? So. When you take responsibility and want to do something about your lack of views, here are three things to work on. First, to fix your channel authority, you need to make more videos to get you more watch time on your channel. Second, to get you more watch time, you need to read your audience retention graphs and try to improve on them every single video. I have some easy hacks for you in this video right here. Number three, to make people click more, you need to learn why people click. I help you with that in this video. But of course, I can also help you with my customized coaching program in which I look at your channel and advise a strategy on your specific situation. The link to book a discovery call is in the description.